I have a 14-year-old son. Oh my goodness, that's right. Because yeah. we were on tour together. When I was pregnant when with him. We were pregnant. You remember right. that? That, that? That happened. Her first, and I heard, she rem they reminded me that her first and only tour yep. she's ever really done was with me. It I don't was. know, is that a bad thing? Did I No, it? no, <laughs> no. It was like, after Robin, I'm not doing it again. No. No, definitely. <laughs> but you know, that was an interesting experience. To my first tour, I was pregnant with my son. But That's what's right. the funny story with that is all the beautiful songs we sang on that tour. Yeah. And after he was one, obviously I didn't tour after that. And one of my songs was playing it, and he knew the song. And I was like, David, how do you know this song? And I only sang it when I was pregnant with him. Wow. You see what I'm saying? That's wild. So I said that to say they can hear up in there because That's wild. I was like, now how do you know this song, David? Oh, please don't say that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got four kids. They done heard everything. <laughs> they done heard everything. <laughs> hey, your 13 year old, what's his name? My 13-year-old's uh, name is Julian, Julian Fuego. Julian. And he's a singer, I he's was a stage ask. performer, he's, uh, uh, he's just, yeah, he's everything. And he's also, you know, it's really special about him, he's got the biggest heart. He started studying Buddhism at the, t at the beginning of this year, and he did a whole speech at the Buddhist Center recently, really? just about how meditation helps him deal with stress he's as a teenager. Smart. And just, just so, I, so instead of following in daddy's footsteps, I was like, Maybe you should follow Barack Obama. Footsteps. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe go for president. Forget this singer stuff. Oh, my stuff, goodness. You know? <laughs> How old was he when he started singing? Um, oh, he was, you know, just like me. I mean, when he was five, six years old, he just had the gift. He, you know, and so he goes to, you know, mostly white kids' school, and, and he's in the choir, and they be singing some... <laughs> he come out there, what you want? Yeah. All right. He, he better be I'm, so That's cool. my boy. That's my baby. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> <laughs> but he is, he's got soul, you know, and, uh, and you know, he's just a really special young man. Man, it sounds like it. Does he play too? He plays a little bit of guitar. I'm trying to get him more, I think he's gotten so into the stage aspect, he just loves, he's, I was a, a studio rat. Uh -huh. And I didn't really start performing until I released my first album in my 20s. I just lived in the studio, but he really lives on stage. He loves the stage. He, he just erupts every time he walks out on stage. Yeah. That is amazing. So, so you know, we all find our, our lane and, you know, have you know, path, maximize the way our in. gift, you know? That is true. And, and when, was, is it true one of the first songs you ever wrote was for Brandy? Well, actually, when I was about 12 years old, I started to uh, learn how to play, I taught myself to play piano, mm -hmm. and then I started writing songs, and Brian McKnight heard one of my demos when I was about 14 years old. Oh my goodness. And so he, he started working with me, and so they used to call me Brian McWhite, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. So, but, uh, but, uh, so after I recorded some demos with Brian, I got noticed by other writers and producers, and I got to write on Brandy's first album. I was 16, and she was 14. Oh my goodness. And then I signed a record deal with Brian McKnight. So at 16 years old, I was, re I was a recording artist and a writer producer, you know? I was very, Isn't that awesome? Got started I very early. never yeah. knew that. Started very early. And then once I started making my own albums in my 20s, I didn't really work for uh, any other artists except uh, Lil Wayne, Mary J. Blige, and you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yay, I made that list. Usher, yeah, but you were the only, you know, there's this wonderful story. She sang at the Met Ball, and I was there, and I was sitting at the table with Rihanna, and it was the first time I'd ever heard you uh, sing live, and, yeah. and I was so mesmerized and so blown away, I immediately said, I have to write a song for her, and I went and I wrote uh, giving myself, oh my you know, for you, yeah. Wow. And that's really... I never even heard this story. It's really the only first time that's ever happened that I heard you in person, and I was so inspired by your vocal. I was like, if I write the right song, it, you know, she would murder it. Oh, my goodness. And I got to sing that song. Yes, you did sing song. On my first album <laughs> that I won a Grammy for, so thank you for writing hey. that song for me. I need... Robin, I need another song. I'm putting it out there. I need Please. another song, okay? Yes. Now, well, you can sing anything, so okay. you make it all sound good. I'ma hold you. I'ma hold you to it. Y'all hold the lie. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.